Hello guys, um, let's check today how to make a POST uh, request using the VR REST plugin in Unreal Engine. Also, I would like to show you how to make the same exact request using a C++ class. Um, you will find this really useful when you have a really complex request and you have to handle the response uh, every five seconds, for example. I have been lately changing all my actors that I was using the VRS plugin, even that is really useful um, for a native C++ uh, actors using the HTTP model from the Unreal Engine. So let's uh, make a really simple request. This one that used the verb post, this is the body, but it's a JSON. Um, this is a model default, and I put an input defining two colors, and I want another three colors. Yes, so this is the response. Let me test it one more time. So you will see that we have the status 200, okay. So let's come to the project. I create a C++ project. And let's open it. So here we are. Let's open this tutorial level. So as you see, I have already created, uh, I was already testing it. And I have created already the actors, but let's make it from scratch so you can see how it's the implementation. So this is our Blueprint class that handled the request. So as you can see, it's very simple. We have the begin play. Uh, we have a two seconds delay as usually. We use the VR REST subsystem with our bear post. Um, we make a JSON that pass the data that we want to pass. In this case, I'm just passing uh, this first parameter model and using default. So it will uh, follow in the API, it will give us back a random color palette, just passing this. Uh, we set this JSON as the request object, yes? And then we process the URL, the one that we use in our API. And let's see it. I will come here to delete this uh, C++ actor, this blueprint actor that comes from a C++ to be sacked. Uh, let's hit play. So here, as you see, we have the response. We have a 200 OK. So for uh, the question that I received of how to make the post, it's exactly the same as how to make the get. You just need to change here the verb and set the parameters as your API requires. But now let's check how to make it in C++. Um, so it's really simple. You create a new C++ class, you create an actor, and you define its name. Uh, however, as I told you, I already create this. So I create my C++ class, colored my generator. So the, our color mine genera generator uh, looks like this. So these were the classes that I defined to make the request and to receive the response. And here I create a new function that is blueprint callable. You will see now why is this defined like this, that it's called get color mind. And this function will handle the request one uh, the request is processed. Um, to handle this request, it is necessary to have uh, these parameters, one for the request, one for the response, and a Boolean that will tell us if the re request was processed successfully or not. So this is our header file. And if we come here to our C++ file, we just need to include our HTTP uh, that H uh, HTTP header, and one more thing in our CS, this is our project uh, name tutorials that build that CS. We just need to include uh, this HTTP JSON and JSON utilities. So for this to work, after you include this, you just need to close your project and hit here rebuild solution. So here in our C++ file, we define this 
function get color mine. We call this HTTP request that is from the HTTP model, the function get, and we create the request. This request will have, uh, we'll call this on process request complete, and this function it's bind to the handle get color mine completed function that we created before. So once the request the process request is complete, this function is called. Uh, we define up a string, the URL, and if you see this URL, it's exactly the same uh, that we have here. And uh, we define the content body that if you see is also the same that we have here. So then we just set the URL, set the verb that is post, Set header. This is required since we want the response to be a JSON in, in a JSON structure object. Uh, we send our content as string, the one that we define here, and we process this request. Once the request is processed, uh, as a test, we will put in our output a uh, lock that the function was called as a warning. So it will be like a yellow text. So let's test it. So to implement it from the color mine generator, we create a blueprint class based on color mine generator. This blueprint class is this one. And if you see, I will from the event begin play, I will put a two seconds delay and get color mind. For that reason, I was creating a U function that it was blueprint callable. So we can call it from here. So now if we come to the level, let me delete this one. And let me take this one, C++. And let's hit play to see what happened. So after two seconds, we should get our response. All right. Not getting call, let's see what happened. Here. So one more time play. Delay two seconds and it's called. But it's not processing the call. So let me see what what happened again. I will just rebuild it. Maybe is there some missing stuff? And yes, I just needed to rebuild it in the live code, and the function was called. So let's add here something to check the actual. Um, response so first we should check if the response exists and if it was successful so in case uh, this throw true it means that the response does not exist or um, it was not successful the, the request so let's print here a lock that tell us warning text. And I have to put here again the name of uh, color my generator. The request has failed. We return. Return this. So if this was successful, let's just print here uh, our response. Warning. So we will see it better. Color my generator. And we put here 
this symbol that allows us to pass a string. So response get content a string. And that should be it. So we have this. Let's go back to our project. Let's build it. Okay. This is still playing. Let's build it just again. Let's hit it here. So we have here our result. So as you see, the implementation might seem a bit complicated, but uh, when it's really complex structures of the APIs and you need to pass authorization and stuff, it, this is really the way to go. So if you want to keep learning how to implement more complex requests using C++ or the VRS, just hit me in the comments. I would like to also say that I was supposed to be loading this video a long time ago, but just now I was able to make it. So I'm back here and I um, will be more than happy to help anyone that is trying to explore this amazing engine. So happy coding and see you next time.